guys, I'm Sarah Mitten, and I throw the women, I'm in the women's shot put. Uh, I train here actually, I'm really fortunate at the High Performance Center in Toronto. Uh, my coach is Richard Parkinson, and yeah, it's pretty cool to be able to compete just in my backyard. <laughs> Is this your stuff? You are Laura, right? Oh, I'll go for Zoom, it's fine. Thanks. And then, I will definitely need help for the back. Laura, you need her next? She's right up. Wanna give me hers? Yeah. Close is there. Hang on. I want Lulu. Thank you. Oh, I have to put it out there. Hey, Vanessa, how are you? Is this straight? Oh, I like my shot. Stay safe. Come get up and come on me. Elementary needs some. Okay, paperwork. Sorry, there's probably very little area to put it. I'm having fun. My connections are coming together. <laughs> Charlotte, get in front of Grace. Hold up, let me, let me set up here. I got this in my hand. Lip. 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 I see you've had some success. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about competitions that you've had the past couple of years, just your projections. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's been pretty good since like I got kind of came onto the scene like after university. I joined the group here with Richard and I 2018 I was still a glider and I switched to the rotation and that year I went from throwing 1632 to 1852. So that was kind of a year where we kind of realized that I was going to be able to compete against some of these girls like that were at the world class level and then since then it's been really awesome like I ended up making like the Tokyo Olympics which was a huge like milestone for me and then I ended up you know I made worlds last year I ended up fourth by like a tie and then a count back and then this year I actually had my first diamond league win so for me I feel like I count that as like a big stepping stone on like my professional career so just yeah everything's kind of been like lining up you know you always have your like ups and downs throughout the season and you know I felt that a little bit this year I've had you know some really good throws and some not so good results um, but you kind of just have to keep picking away with the, the goal in mind and I'm trying to trying to win Budapest this year so heading into world very well. I back and fired it off and it was like, oh, I got chills. <laughs> it was just so smooth. And she just fired it off and it was like, oh my god. That's still. And he just got in there, got it. He was sloppy, but he just let it loose and it just flew and it was effortless. Singing. Good. That's the reason I do this. <laughs> um, so if you ladies are ready, um, Cynthia, I know you want to get a shot in for your warm up. So we're going to do that. So everyone, as far as I recall, everyone's in a separate group. So Cynthia, Charlotte, Renee, Liv, Sarah, Laura, Benoza, and Grace. That's your throwing order. Make sure you use your right implements. We will have a retriever. Six throws each. If you don't want your throw, don't. <laughs> if, it, if it's real bad. Yeah, yeah, please. Like, not, not, not just kind of bad, touch it's it, like real bad. Alright, so that's going to be the run of the day. But it's also hard to tell, so don't foul something that you think. Yeah. You're like, eh, you know. If, if in doubt, repeating. let us measure it out. Yeah. Alright? <laughs> so, <laughs> I've never heard that before, but I like it. Kind of what are this season's goals heading into the summer and the fall season? Yeah, this season has been interesting. Like we haven't had a break since the Olympics because of the COVID year. And 
you know, coming off of fourth place last year, you know, I was super, super grateful to have finished fourth and made the top eight final. That was a huge gold mine. But, you know, coming so close to being on the podium was not, I wouldn't say disappointing, but, you know, it makes me, like, hungry to, to be there next year. So the distances that are to make the podium, I'm well within, and I'm, like, pretty excited to go to Worlds this year and just really, you know, try to grab a medal. And if not, yeah, try to grab the gold medal at Worlds this year to really set myself up for the Olympics in Paris. And then are you kind of like one event, at, one event at a time kind of person or do you have an eye on Olympics next year, 2024? Yeah, I mean, my coach is like probably the biggest planner I've ever met. I mean, I have an Excel sheet that's probably like 35 pages long and it's updated like every week. But yeah, it's hard. Like that's why when I talk about like the progression through the season, like you got to keep your eye on like the big goal. Like you can't, you can't be peaked in prime for every meet. So like you've got to like really keep your eye on the process and like, for me, you know, going to some of the meets that I went to this year, and I placed fifth and ninth at the first two Diamond Leagues, um, which wasn't quite there yet, and like, but the goal is Budapest, so you kind of have to just like push through and build off of each one. Um, but yeah, always keeping your sights forward is is definitely what we try to try to achieve. Awesome. Yeah. That's all I got. Cool.